Well, in between those jobs, you also grow up with neighbourhood kids like AFL great Kevin Bartlett. <laughs> Very much. Now, this bloke was uh, was a bit cheeky when it came to earning extra money on the side, Kevin. Is that true? Look, uh, he might be cunning as a coach, but he was a lot smarter as a paper boy, I can tell you that. <laughs> you know, ducking out in the traffic, uh, guys pulling up at lights in those days, wanting a Herald, and Kevin had chewed out and sell him last night's Herald, take the thruppings, <laughs> put it in his pocket. Paper. Yesterday's paper. That's how he made all of his money. But he's been a fantastic person, and uh, I mean, he's, he's a great... He's a great coach, but he was a great player as well. And I don't think people realise just what a great player he was. When he first came to, to Richmond, they, they used to say about Kevin Sheedy, he couldn't mark, he couldn't kick, he couldn't handball and he couldn't run. The only redeeming feature he had was that he could actually get the ball. And then 13 years later, after being captain best and fairest, they called him into the room and they said, sorry about this, Kevin, but you're a good kick, you can run, you're a good mark, you're a good handballer, but you're sacked because you can't get the ball. <laughs> Kevin, thanks, thanks for coming Kevin. in. Thanks, thanks.